Hi, we're just now finishing the last little bit of suture removal on a skin cancer that we did a week ago on the upper lip. We're just taking out the last little stitches after the plastic surgery reconstruction that I did. And I'm going to show you kind of the thing that we did. But here this patient had a basal cell on the lip, which I'll show you in a minute. Just got to get this last little stitch out. And if you can see here in this picture, up here, she had a spot that didn't heal for quite some time, probably a couple years, and it was a, diagnosed to be a basal cell carcinoma. And the green line is the outline of what is expected. And we did a Mohs surgery procedure and cut around the margin of that and checked the margins to make sure that there's no skin cancer left. Unfortunately, with the Mohs procedure, it, it takes narrow margins, so we leave the smallest possible hole, but unfortunately it had roots that spread to the sides up and down, and we had to go back three times, and unfortunately it left a fairly good sized defect that you can see here on the upper lip. Now when reconstructing and doing the plastic surgery closure, you can pull both sides together, but that's going to distort the lip and it's going to go down and through the lip. So we have to do what's called a little advancement flap by making a little cut down here and moving that tissue forward, which you can see here. So if you come down here, this is what we did here. And we kind of moved this tissue forward here and did a little plastic surgery flap reconstruction. And right now at one week, it is red and swollen. That's normal, but open your mouth. But you can see that her lip is kept very nicely aligned. There's no distortion after one week. All of this will heal great. That line scar will start to disappear and be less noticeable. And it all looks great. Open up wide now. Okay, there's no problem or distortion in the lip. So close. So Mohs surgery is a good option when removing skin cancers because you can try to get them all of it out with leaving the least possible hole. But unfortunately, sometimes when you look into the um, uh, when you look, there is what appears like a small spot, but unfortunately it can end up being a fairly good size defect. But all in all, she's very pleased that the cosmetic outcome of her lip is normal. There's no distortion. It looks great. And once she comes back in, in a month or two, all that redness will fade, the line will heal, and it will start to hopefully disappear and not be very noticeable. But with every surgery, we always say, Nobody guarantees the outcome of a scar, but you know, you can do your best you can to make it as, look as good as it can look. And when she comes back, I'm sure it's going to look, you know, 10 times better than this and she'll hardly notice it. Thanks for watching.